Hello, and welcome to Productivity and Prose, a podcast about making the most of your writing time and honing your craft. Whether you're a seasoned author or a new writer, this podcast offers helpful tips to maximize your writing time, increase your writing productivity, and tackle the sometimes tough aspects of the writer life. Hi, I'm your host, Emily, author of the Xeris Galaxy Saga, and today we're just going to do a quick Kickstarter update. If you've missed my last episodes, make sure you get a chance to listen through those. I talk about Kickstarter, how I decided to come to publishing through that route, and a little bit about what the books are about. But for now, I can just say that if you like space operas, a little bit of fantasy with your science fiction, a complex cast of endearing characters, and no spice romance, I think you're going to love this next installment in the trilogy. I'm currently kickstarting my book, Falling Through the Black, which is the second book in the Xeris Galaxy saga. I like to say that it is a gender-swapped Aladdin meets Doctor Who with a little bit of Mandalorian thrown in. And the good news is that it is still live for the next 16 days. So if you've missed backing already, don't worry, there is still plenty of time. It will end on April 26th, and right now you can go and you can back at any level that you'd like. That includes ebook, paperback, audiobook, and limited edition hardback. There's even an option for sprayed edges on that limited edition, so make sure you check that out if you like special edition books. But now let's talk a little bit about day one. (laughs) So the Kickstarter went live April 5th, and I honestly walked into it not really knowing what to expect. Last year, my Kickstarter for Suspended in the Stars funded at just over $10,300, and it took, you know, 21 days to get to that point. It was a wild ride last year, um, but this year totally blew my socks off. So I launched at 7.30 in the morning, and it's basically you just sit down and you press the button saying that you're ready to launch, and then all the things happen. And really, I like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect, and so I just kind of let things play out. Um, in the midst of that, I was writing updates, I was posting on social media, I was just basically sharing it everywhere I could, just to say that, hey, we're launched and we're live. To give you some context, I had a $2,000 goal for funding. So basically, if we hit that $2,000, that meant that we were then going ahead into production of the book. Well, friends, we blew past that $2,000 mark in just over an hour. I mean, you would have had to pick up my jaw from the floor. (laughs) And then things just kept going. We closed the day out at just over $8,000. And I don't even know, I think we were at We were at over 100 backers for that first day, and I was just completely in shock. The only reason why I mentioned money here, because it could sound like I'm just like looking for, you know, oh, let's just give me the most money that I can find ever, and it's not that at all. The fact is, the more money that's raised means the more things that go into making this book special, which to me is just the coolest thing ever. So I've got stretch goals, which is what happens after you reach that funding goal. Those stretch goals are in place now, and they'll be more will be revealed as we get closer um, towards the end of the campaign, just to see how things are doing. But already, four have been unlocked, which is just incredible. Um, we have unlocked the backer Q and A, which is going to be a virtual Q and A with me and just chatting about all things book related, but spoiler free. We've unlocked a short story, which via vote has been selected that it's going to be Renner and Tally's story of what happens. Kind Kind of throughout book two, but also after book two, moving into book three. I've also unlocked a foil stamped bookmark. I think it'll probably be gold foil, which I think is going to be so exciting. And as long as we stay above that $10,000 mark, we have unlocked three collectible planet cards. I introduced these last campaign and they were so well received. You guys loved them and they're so fun. Um, so I don't know if anybody has visited the national parks before, but at those national national parks, there are often a lot of postcards and I absolutely love the retro style of them. And so what I wanted to do going into last year's campaign was to create planet cards that had that same feeling and style of the cards that you would get, um, that retro style. So I already have uh, three of those out. And so now we're gonna be adding three more. And I just realized there's another planet that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna have to figure out if there's a way to get you guys that next card too, because come on, we need all the cards. But yeah, coming up, I have marked for that 12K mark to give you guys an alternative dust jacket which will have the new design. Um, So if you don't know, 
because maybe you're new to the campaign or you didn't realize this when you found out about Suspended in the Stars, but there are two uh, covers. There are two covers for the hardcover. There's one that is Kickstarter exclusive and that has the faces of Renner and Tally on it and that is only available through purchase on Kickstarter. And then there was the what I like to call the space cover and that's the one that you'll see um, sold most widely outside of Kickstarter and it's got a fun design that actually is the same design that is stamped on the hardcover from Kickstarter. So basically what I wanted to do in, in offering an alternative dust jacket was give people a way who had backed the campaign to have both covers. Because honestly, I don't expect you guys to go out there and buy both books, although I know some people have, which is so amazing. Um, but yeah, this way to unlock that uh, dust jacket would mean that I will get them all printed and everybody who backs at the hardcover tier will get that design. The cool thing too is that I'll create an art print sized version of that to give to everybody who backs at the paper back level as well just because I don't want people to feel left out so really exciting we are closing in on that um, and then I'm thinking about maybe revealing the rest of these stretch goals or at least a good majority of them by this weekend um, we still have a good bit of time like I said there's 16 days left but you know what it's one of those things where I think sometimes to see what we could get could be really motivating so if you are interested at all in checking out the campaign, there's a couple of ways you can get there. In the show notes of this episode, there will be a link that takes you directly to my campaign page, but you can also just type in kickstarter.com and search for Falling Through the Black and my campaign will pop up. Um, the really exciting thing that just happened yesterday is that we received the Project We Love badge. It's a way that the team at Kickstarter picks out extra bright projects, as they say on their website. So that just means that there is a little badge under my campaign header there. The campaign will also be shown on a different page of just all the projects that they love. So that is hugely awesome. And honestly, even if you don't want to back the campaign, I would suggest you go over and check it out because there are some just amazing artists that I got to work with who have shown just the most incredible talent. And so I like to kind of say, hey, just go look at their art because it's beautiful. And as always, if you guys have any questions about the campaign or you're interested in backing, but you don't really understand how that works, feel free to reach out and let me know. I would love to give you guys more information on it. So far, it has just completely surpassed my hopes um, for this campaign in and of itself. I was just hoping we would maybe make it to $8,000, which I think would give us a lot of what I wanted for the hardcover. But man, if we fund just a little bit more than where we're at right now, we could get things like special printed end papers and color artwork within the hardcover, which will also mean that there'll be artwork uh, printed off for people who are backing at the paperback level too. Definitely go check it out and see what you guys think. And if you wanna join in and be a backer, I'd love to have you there. As always, thanks so much for listening and don't forget to dream big and write boldly. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please subscribe and leave a rating and review. If you're looking for more writing inspiration, community, craft tips, and behind-the-scenes content, consider joining the EAH Coalition on Patreon with various levels of free and paid support. You can also connect with me on Instagram at createexplorerread and find out more about me, my books, and my design business on my website, eahcreative.com. Productivity and Prose is an EAH Creative Production.